Okay, we're going to pick back up at problem number 8, and we're factoring. Our first step is always, always take out a GCF first if possible. In this one, we can factor out a 4. 64 divided by 4 is a 16. Okay, now we want to check our parentheses. Make sure there's no more GCF. There's not another GCF that can come out of this. Good. It's not three terms, so it's two terms. That's subtraction, and that's a perfect square, and this is a perfect square. So I'm going to think I can do difference of perfect squares. Now I want to name my A. I'm only working in my parentheses, and I'm going to get 4x, and my B is going to be 5, okay? Once I have my A and once I have my B, I just simply plug it into this formula, A plus B parenthesis a minus b so a plus b a minus b drop your original gcf out front and this is going to be our factor form okay next we're going to talk about two more types of um factor and definitions that we have this is sum and then the difference of two cubes so we're this is two different ones this one's a sum and then this one's the definition for difference when you have two cubes and just like we talked about squares cubes are going to be the same thing like one cube is one two cubed means two times two times two which is eight and then three cubed is three times three times three which is twenty seven and so on and so forth so these are perfect cubes okay and we're gonna um, be working with those so when number nine, when I check for GCF, there's no greatest common factor. It's not four more terms, so I don't group. It's not three terms, so I don't try bottoms up. It's not difference of perfect squares. So now I see a cube in this thing. Then I check to see if this is a perfect cube, and it is. This is a plus, so I go back and I pull my A plus B a squared minus a b plus b squared which is going to be my first equation up there because it was a um, plus sign right there for the plus you're going to use the sum and for the subtraction you're going to use the difference so now the main thing i need to do is name my a what's cubed in the first term and the b is what's cubed in the second term now all i have to do is plug in my a and my b so that's going to be a plus b, a squared minus, and I always put the coefficient first, and then b squared is 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, and number 10, same thing, there's no GCF, it's difference but it's not perfect square so now I check that's a perfect cube and yes 8 is a perfect cube so now I want to name my A what cubed is 8 that's going to be 2 my B is going to be an X and now because this is subtraction I want to use my subtraction my difference of two cubes formula so it's A minus B A squared plus AB plus B squared now you are going to have to memorize these two formulas right here, so make sure you get into practice and it's best just to write them down every time. That's the easiest way to start memorizing. Now substitute in 2 minus x. 2 squared is going to be 4 plus 2x plus b squared. And we're done on that one. Alright, number 11, we're going to check for GCF now. And then I see that P is cubed, I see the Q is cubed, and I want to check and make sure that I can do um, that 125 is cubed. And it is, so I have sum, because it's a plus, sum of perfect cubes. And my formula from the last page is going to be um, sum of perfect cubes is going to be A plus B a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so the first thing I need to do is come back up here and say my a is going to be p and my b is going to be 5 
Q. So now I'm going to substitute my A and my B in my formula. A is going to be P plus 5Q. A squared means P squared minus 5PQ. And it was okay if you put 5 uh, minus 5QP. Order doesn't matter there. Plus 5 squared is 25. And then Q squared. Check and make sure that we've done all those calculations correctly and we have alright so we're going to move on to number 12 the first thing we always check for is going to be our GCF which looks like there's a Y squared in both of those so I want to take a Y squared out when I'm done I check my parentheses and I see difference and this is a cube perfect cube as well as this so this is difference a perfect cube so I'm only going to be working with this parenthesis and I'm going to name my A as X because X is cubed and my B is going to be 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 I have my A name and my B name now I need to write my formula my formula for difference cubes is going to be A minus B a squared plus a b plus b squared I'm going to substitute my values in x minus 3 x squared plus 3x plus now b squared that's 3 times 3 which is 9 do not forget to drop our original GCF that we pulled out and we're done Okay, starting with number 13, it's just going to be mixed practice. They want us to just factor, use whatever method applies. So, just like usual, we'll always tell you the first step, check for GCF. And it looks like a 2y can come out of both of them. Divide a 2y out, and I'll have 9x squared minus, don't forget to put 1 as a placeholder. Always check inside your parentheses to make sure nothing else can happen. While I see difference... And I see this is a perfect square, so then I check this, and yes, not a perfect square, so then I check this, and I say, yes, this is difference of perfect squares. Now, difference of perfect squares is going to be our formula that says A plus B, A minus B. That's our difference of squares. So we need to name our A. A is 3X, A and your B is 1. And we're going to say that's 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1, drop our original GCF, and this is our factored form. Alright, we're going to look at number 14 and do the same thing. Mm, no GCF, then I see difference. I want to check to see this is a perfect square. That's a square. 3 squared is 9, so that's a square. And 7 squared is 49, so this is difference of perfect squares. And we just said our formula for that is going to be A plus B, A minus B, which is an easy one to remember. Now we need to name our A. What squared gives us 9x squared, and that's going to be a 3x. Our B says what squared is going to give us 49, okay? Or you can look at them like the square root, either way, whichever makes more sense to you. Okay, so that's going to give us 3x plus 7, 3x minus 7.